Hello and welcome to how to create random decorators. So there may be an occasion where you're making AI and you wish the AI to have a random chance of it choosing one path or another in the paleo tree. And we're going to create a decorator to accomplish this. So you're going to click up top and see new decorator. Decorators are kind of conditions that you apply to nodes to allow or not allow the code to run. And the main thing you need to make sure when you create a new decorator is that you go to the functions and override the perform condition check AI or the normal check. I prefer to use check AI, but up to you which one you want to use. But this one is important because this is what allows it through into the next node. So this boolean here will determine yes or no, it will go through or not. So we're going to use this to calculate the random number. So do random float in range. And we're going to pick a random number between 0 and 1. And then we want to check if this number is less than or equal to. And we'll make another variable off of this second uh, green float pin here. Drag this up, promote to variable. And we'll call this one random chance. This random chance will be the number that the uh, user will put in to determine whether or not it can actually run that path or not. So it's random chance here, we're going to compile it and we're going to go to the right hand side and change the slider range here between 0 and 1. And the value range go from 0 to 1 as well. So you've got some validation check in there for the user. And all that's doing is just seeing how uh, if it is within a random float range. So for example, if the random float in range returned 0.4 and our random chance was 0.2, that means it is true and it will go through. There's a 40% the number will be chosen is going to be the correct one. So as long as that is coming through just that, that'd be fine. So we put that across over to the return value and allow it through or not. So all we have to do now is make the random ch chance here a editable variable and hit compile and save that. And that's all we have to do here. I'm then going to close this and rename it random chance and go to my behavior tree. So I've got two sequences here. I've got sequence A, which is making him move, and sequence B, which is making him uh, wait. And because this is tied to a selector, he will always pick sequence A unless it's told to fail. So if I right click on this and add a decorator and add my random chance to it, you can see now I can now go to the right hand side and choose the random chance value I have on here. There's a slide that goes between zero and one. So I can just make this have a 0.3% uh, chance that it will let it through and do the walking. Otherwise, it will wait. Let's save that and see how this looks in game. So here he goes now. Um, if he's standing still, it means he's choosing sequence B. If he it runs, he's choosing sequence A. And it's a random chance that he'll choose either one. And we can change that value to change the weighting of that chance as well. So think about how you could use this. For example, if you want it to be random whether or not an enemy is going to run away from you or attack you, you can do that. And you can set that up with another variable such as their bravery or whatever you really want. So there's quite a lot of applications for this very simple decorator node. If you like this how-to and want to see more how-tos and other videos before anyone else, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley, where donations of just one dollar get to access to all my video content or anyone else, plus many other benefits too. Thank you to everyone who supported me over on Patreon and YouTube members. I can't thank you enough. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.